Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff in the Weather Center. Got a little bit of a headache, and rightfully so. This is a difficult forecast coming in as we move into the uh, end of the weekend and into Monday. And I don't have a whole lot of time to get through this forecast, but I will post another detailed one after the 10 o'clock news tonight. Just wanted to get you up to date with the latest as you're headed out this Friday evening. First of all, our satellite and radar showing that northwesterly flow weather pattern continuing. And this is a very tricky forecast for multiple multiple reasons. One, the pieces of energy that are going to swing in that are going to provide the precipitation aren't even on the coast of the United States. What we are watching for is a piece of energy that will be swinging in from areas just to the west of Vancouver. Now you can't see it, I'll show it to you on the water vapor, but it's several little embedded low pressure systems off the coast that will be diving uh, to the southeast as it heads uh, way up to the north into Canada and then works its way down to the southeast. and. Models are just having a very difficult time discerning all this. Also, there's this low pressure system that's been retrograding over Baja. Some of the computer models showing that there won't be any energy associated with this lift moving in uh, from the southwest, while others kind of show that. So it's our job to determine whether that happens or not. Uh, you might be hearing about the different forecasts, the GFS, the NAM, all the NSEP models, which are the American models, don't really show any pieces of subtle energy swinging in from this low, but you can see all of this extra lift occurring over Mexico, all those colder cloud tops. This is why we look at water vapor, by the way. It really helps show the way the weather patterns are moving. Take a look off to our west uh, and northwest. This is off the coast of the United States. This is a very messy weather pattern, but there is an embedded low pressure system that is not being picked up by the upper air balloon sounding network, what we call the radio sound network or the rayob network that happens over the United States. Those are those weather balloons that are launched twice a day and so the models aren't really picking up on this or not really sampling the air if you will. Here's another low pressure system and all of this energy it's very subtle but it makes a huge difference as I like to say it's the small stuff that makes the big stuff happen as these uh, little pieces of energy swing into northwest Arkansas. But we do have some changes that I want to let you know about and it's in the four W's. So what is the threat? Yesterday we were talking about a two-part system. Now we have actually trended that down whereas Tuesday's system does not look like it's going to bring much. It may bring a few flurries, possibly some additional light snow, but that's very much in question. Sunday night, however, the precipitation is not in question. We will see a mixture of freezing rain, sleet, and snow across northwest Arkansas, and that will be accumulating as well as we move into Sunday overnight and into early Monday. So when does this all arrive? Well, the precipitation will start late Sunday afternoon in northeast Oklahoma and southwest Missouri, but we'll have some dry air to overcome in northwest Arkansas, and until the uh, low levels of the air saturate, we won't see that precipitation reach the ground. I think that happens the late Sunday evening. We're talking mainly after 8 o'clock in northwest Arkansas as the main energy swings in. And as I said, it does not appear that another system is moving in for Tuesday. So this will be a one shot to get our chance of winter precipitation or at least the uh, chance where it accumulates and causes some travel issues. So it will be widespread though, as you will see, precipitation will be widespread. Highest chance for ice will be in the river valley, especially in the South River Valley and the Washita's. Snow is more likely in northwest Arkansas due to that colder and deeper air. But the computer model difficulties are just horrendous. I mean, they are warming things up into the mid and upper 40s by the early part of next week in an Arctic air mass. It just doesn't make sense. They're not detecting those small pieces of energy. That right there is the key, folks. And let me tell you something. I've forecasted for a long time, and a lot of those mesoscale features, which produce the banding and the snow bands that develop that produce heavier snows and spots more than others that small pieces of energy will be the key and so that is kind of the make or break with this winter forecast we still have a lot of energy and cold air that will be moving in I will give you an accumulation map as the latest computer models come in later on tonight the morning runs I'm just not confident enough to do it if I would say snow accumulation right now one to three inches possibly a few areas with a little bit more now that will obviously be the biggest snowstorm of the year so far this winter 
but uh, I was not calling for, uh, despite some reports, five to ten inches. I just said, hey, we will see the biggest snowstorm, and it's a little too early to determine accumulation totals. But I will have more on that later on tonight. Keep it here. We'll keep you advised.